Well, hello out there, good people. I hope you all are doing well. I am sending you love and light today. I would like to welcome you to Brown Bag Tarot because we about to tear open somebody's bag right here together right now. Get comfortable. All right, this particular bag is for the Taurus. Today is Thanksgiving Day. Mm-hmm. Everybody, you know, may be doing something different, whether you're with your family, your friends, your loved ones, you know, or if you find yourself in a different um, atmosphere and energy today, you know. I hope everybody remembers to have an attitude of gratitude, okay, and remember that things can always be worse. So be thankful for the things that you are thankful for. And this week, I, I, I challenge myself. I don't know why I'm going off topic, but sidebar. This week uh, is a, um, <clears throat> a challenging time for me during the holidays. Okay? But I challenge myself to be grateful for the most minute things for me. Whenever I felt like that little energy coming on, you know, I may have been eating um, and watching TV at the time, you know, I just began to thank God for the spoon. <clears throat> Excuse me. My throat is getting a little scratchy here. Some of you Taurus may have a problem communicating this weekend. You know, I may not be able to get your words out, <clears throat> but, um, just the smallest things, the spoon. I began to thank the creator for the plate that my food was on. I began to thank him for the batteries that was in the remote control. So I didn't have to get up and walk back and forth to the TV. Thank him for the TV, you know? I thanked him for the dirty dishes that was in the sink. Cause I had ate before, you know? Just the smallest thing. So during this season, you know, Taurus, you know, just remember to keep an attitude of gratitude, you know, and, um, have positive thoughts. It may be easy. Like I said, some of you may be with family and loved ones. You know, some of you may be by yourself or somewhere in between. But just remember to have an attitude of gratitude if you can. Father, give me some messages for the Taurus for this holiday weekend. Thank you, Father. That's one. That's two. Three, be quiet. Yeah, my throat chakra was messing with me. And um, <clears throat> be quiet. All right, be quiet. So let's see what uh, the creator has for you. Spiritual strength. That's the nine of wands. That's right. Spiritual strength. Listen, change don't be like this always. Father, what's supposed to be for another one up here? Yep. Six of swords. All right. Some of y'all might be having money issues. <clears throat> there you go. Showed up in your own reading, Taurus. That's awesome. I feel like, though, I feel like you are burdened. You burdened. And I feel, I feel like I need to, like, clarify that. What, are you, what is the Taurus burdened about, Father? I feel like you burdened about, like, deciding to move on, you know? I don't know if you can see that. I see, I like this Six of Swords. I like showing y'all the cards, I do. And this Six of Swords, you see them leaves back there? They brown. It's dark, okay? You can't see nothing in the darkness, and whatever is going on in there is dead, okay? But as soon as you move into the marvelous light, you see now you got the sunshine on your face. Now you see all of that. Now the leaves are green, okay? You done moved into prosperity, or you're trying to move toward prosperity. You're trying to move toward having some light in your life. Because again, see, look at this. Thank you, spirit. You see this person, they in darkness right now, but it's a light beam that's coming across the head right there, like through the head. I feel like spirit, which is behind you, which is really in your heart space. You need to go into your heart space, Taurus. You need to ask yourself, what is it that I love? What is it that I long for? What is it? What is it that's going to um, like fulfill me? Okay, what is it that's going to fulfill me? Hmm? And you're in a dark place right now. But Father trying to get you to see the light. And I feel like you're beginning to see the light because you're moving into the light. 
again, where there is prosperity, goodness, um, harmony, all things fantastic, okay? And you're moving, you moving in that direction. And I feel like, you know, it's going to affect your money because this is the Taurus card too, the Five of, of Pentacles. Oh, you, 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 you got some major changes going on right here, right now, Scorpio. Um, you might be dealing with a Scorpio. I almost said Scorpio. But um, you got some major changes. The changes that you're moving on from, the changes that you are moving on from are going to affect your finances, okay? Financial and material changes. I feel like it is going to affect your finances. That's a five, two. Five is about change. Okay, and that's the, the, the hierophant up there, you know, that is a five as well. You know what I mean? So big changes, big changes are coming because you're deciding to move on, Taurus. With this, you know, I feel and you know, I feel like you done seen a light, you may have seen some paperwork, you may have gotten some information just that just illuminated the whole thing. To say, you know what? Bam, that's exactly what I needed to know in order for you to put your shoes on. Okay, and, and walk out the door, whatever the situation may be for you. But I feel like you are gathering the spiritual strength to move on, even though it is going to affect your finances. And you feel like that is the best thing for you to do. I feel like that's what spirit is saying to you. Like, yeah, put your shoes on and hit the bricks. Okay, it's time to go. It's time to go, go. All right, and I feel like, yeah, whatever you found out right there, okay, you may, may have seen on a piece of paper, okay, maybe dealing with somebody whose name starts with the F or J or uh, I heard M, M, hmm. but okay, Father, what is the advice you have for the Taurus? One, two. Three. Visualization. I make mental pictures of my goals that are simple and to the point. Simple and to the point. Bam. I feel like that's what spirit is saying. What I'm going to show you is going to make things simple and to the point. Because you're trying to stay in this situation when really it's time for you to go. All right. And when you get this information that is simple and to the point. It is going to make the things that make your heart sing, the things that you have suppressed, the things that you have not gone after, the things that you put on the back burner, okay, your goals. That's why I said, you know, this person's heart space is closed off. They feel like they're in a dark place. Feel like you're in a dark place, Taurus, okay? Your heart not open, but your, your heart is your goals. When you get this piece of information... Okay, that's going to make everything so clear. All right, you're going after your goals. You're going to put your shoes on and go after your goals, even though you know it's going to affect your money. All right, and that's what I have for the Taurus. Good job, no matter what, y'all. Remember to stay in the attitude of gratitude. Things that are not always the same. Some things are meant to teach us lessons. You know, no matter what, spirit is always here. Okay? Spirit is always here. So, if y'all like this message, hit that like button. Okay? If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. I would love to have you. And if this message resonated with you, by all means, leave a comment. Please. I would love to hear y'all feedback. All right? So, this is Brown Bag Tarot. All right. And until the next time we get together, good people, I would like to ask you all to pack light and y'all be cool.